Last week, I released a video about American crocodiles in Florida, and I got a lot of comments concerning various topics. So I thought it'd be a good idea if I got to address those questions here. First question is concerning if saltwater crocodiles have been introduced into Florida. So when someone says saltwater crocodile, you're most likely thinking Crocodylus prosus, which is a species that's found from Southeast Asia to Northern Australia. Saltwater crocodiles are often said to live in Florida, which makes a lot of people concerned that such a big and dangerous species has invaded the state. But that's simply not the case. The reason why people think that there are saltwater crocodiles in Florida is because a lot of local residents in South Florida, particularly those in the Florida Keys, like to call our American crocodile saltwater crocodiles. This is actually one of the major problems with using common names when referring to animals because one species can actually have several different common names. Saltwater crocodile, for example, has the other names a string crocodile and Indo-Pacific crocodile. And this is really confusing when you have this case right now with the American crocodile and the saltwater crocodile where they literally are describing two vastly different species and it's causing issues with public perception. As for just addressing if saltwater crocodiles are in the state of Florida, there is no legitimate evidence or sightings that there are crocodiles process in Florida. So don't worry that dangerous species has not invaded the state. The second question was if Nile crocodiles have established themselves in Florida. The simple answer is no. There is no evidence that an established population of Nile crocodiles is in Florida. If you want the whole context of individual Nile crocodiles being found in the state, you can watch a video I made about it. But in short, a few individual Nile crocodiles have been found in the state within a few year period, but we haven't seen anything recently. But there is no evidence of a breeding population. The very last Nile crocodile that was seen in Florida was caught in 2014, and we haven't seen a single individual Nile since then. What happened is we think that a few individuals were either released or escaped from captivity. We haven't found nests, we haven't found various hatchlings, and we haven't even found decent sized groups of Nile crocodiles in Florida either. If there was a breeding population of Nile crocodiles in the state, we would still be consistently seeing them. Let's compare the situation with an actually established invasive species in Florida, the spectacled caiman. The spectacled caiman has been seen consistently since the mid 20th century, and we know for a fact they are breeding because we've seen several nests. This is the same exact scenario for the famous Burmese pythons in Florida, as there's been consistent reports of the species in the state throughout several years. For the Nile crocodile, we haven't seen any individuals in over 10 years. If there was a breeding population, or at least a group of juveniles, we would see some by now, but we haven't. What happened to the Nile crocodile in Florida is the same exact scenario that other states have encountered for other exotic species. Take California, for instance. There have been several reports of alligators being found in the state, all because they escaped captivity or were let loose. However, that doesn't mean they're established in the state, it's just a few individuals were found. Is it possible right now that there is now a crocodile living in the Everglades or somewhere else in Florida? Possibly. I could also say it's possible that there's an alligator currently living in California somewhere. To sum up the whole Nile crocs in Florida claim, yes, a few individuals have been found in the state, but there has never been any evidence of a breeding population. Final question is, aren't crocodiles more aggressive and dangerous to humans than alligators? The answer is, it simply depends on the species. There are about 16 species of crocodile alive today, and all of their temperaments range greatly. In terms of aggression, you have some species that are on the more aggressive side, such as the Cuban and saltwater crocodiles, but you also have some that are known to be less aggressive, like the freshwater crocodile. As for a crocodile seeing people as prey, that once again gets down to which species you're discussing. Some species, such as the Morlitz crocodile, are not going to typically look at a human as something it can or wants to eat. Other species, however, such as the saltwater crocodile, will look at a human as something it could eat. The topic of human-crocodile conflict is definitely something I want to discuss in the future as it's something really complex. However, the simple answer concerning this is that not every single species of crocodile is going to want to eat you. I know a lot of you were expecting the giant Timisima video to come out this week and I am so sorry that video keeps getting delayed. Um, just a lot of stuff has been coming up. Um, got a lot of work a lot of things crocodilian and non-crocodilian related to work on. A zoo that I used to volunteer at used to have a couple and so I really love that species and I really want to make sure that I get that video right. I will let you all know when that video does eventually come out. So thank you for your patience and I'm looking forward to more videos. Thank you. To learn more about the animals you just saw, buy the second edition of What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians. It examines claims of giant crocodiles, a World War II massacre, regenerating tails, alligators in the sewers, their record land speeds, and more. The book examines claims many, including experts, get wrong about these animals, and the second edition includes updated information, pictures, and more.
by What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians, the second edition in physical or digital formats. Link in bio, comments, or description to buy.